March is coming to an end, and we're keeping an eye on shows that are coming up before the end of the month and into the first part of April. Angel Ponte, the music writer for the Portland Press Herald, Hello. is with us, as always, to be our guide. Thanks for coming in. Good to have you. And I'm one of the people that kept my scraper in the car because I'm no fool. <laughs> All these people are like, I had to get the I, scraper. I'm like, come on. It's, it's under my seat year round. I never yeah, see, I throw it in the truck. It, never, it doesn't leave the car. Let's talk about shows that yes. are coming up. We'll begin with one that's at Space in Portland on Saturday. The name of the performer, Lizzie No. And to Lizzie No, of course, I say, heck yes. And what's great is that even if you can't make this show, because I might go down and see my dad, I'm like a little angsty about this, um, is that it's her first time playing in Maine, right. and I know she's going to come back. So she is. What kind um, of a performer is she? She does a lot, multi genre. She plays harp, guitar. Uh, she's a singer songwriter, and her, her voice is tremendous. So if you're hurting, crying, lying on the bedroom floor, come on down to the heartbreak store. Her new album is called Havesies. And she's new to me, but now I'm like, you know, I, I do the thing where I follow them on every platform and I become obsessed. And uh, Lizzie you No know, is is just she, a name to watch. I, I'm positive she's going to come back. She has to. All right. It's always so, fun to see performers when they're on the rise, and it sounds as though oh, that's what she is. Yeah, wow. Show yes. number two. It's called Caribbean Nights. It's at the Booth Bay Opera House, and it's coming up on Saturday, yes. April 6th. So this is, um, this, they've been doing this for years. and. The pan-fried steel band is going to be playing, as they always do. They turn the opera house into like a beach uh, with sand and tropical drinks and I think some umbrellas and decorations and Hawaiian shirts. And I'm sorry, but I'm sure you have one or, or two in your closet. Are you I, surely? I, I do. I yeah. do. So, I've so had a lot over the years. Bust those out and, and throw on some flip-flops and head to the opera house. <laughs> We know we can't trust the weather, so who knows? You, you to, April can't be trusted you have anymore to bring in March. Spring on so yourself. we're going to bring spring on, and so they kind of give it a jump start at Caribbean Nights at the Opera House. So I think that's a blast. All right, April nineteenth, mm -hmm. which is a Friday at the Strand Theater in Rockland, and then the following night, Saturday the twentieth, at Stone Mountain Arts Center. Yep. An extraordinarily talented vocalist, Ruthie yeah, Foster. Yeah, Ruthie Foster. I have not seen her live. I need to. I need to make that happen. Four-time Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter. Um, J gospel, blues, jazz, folk, everything in between, soul. She has a new record out called Healing Time, and she, again, just tremendous. And uh, She's been around she's, for she's a while. Been on yeah, she's, she's got you some were telling me uh, years ago, and you all uh, jaws dropped in the whole studio. Yeah. So Ruthie Foster, very exciting. Let's end with a show that's going to be on uh, at Jonathan's in Agunquit. Yes, I didn't it's, tell you the date. I it's guess it's sometime in probably April. Probably Saturday the twentieth. I'm Yeah, that guess. sounds right. Saturday the twentieth. We think yeah. uh, it's at Jonathan's in Agunquit. It's Bad Animals, which is a heart tribute show. Yes, and you know I've I've have always had mis mixed emotions about tribute acts, but I'm like you know when the actual man isn't doing much in the way of, of touring, why not? And especially when they're so good. So Deanna D uh, as Ann Wilson. With, uh, she, she brings it vocally. I watched a Barracuda clip and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. And Gina D, she does the uh, guitar and, and backing vocals of Nancy Wilson. The whole band uh, looks very tight and I think that's going to be awesome. All right, let's get to the quick hits. Right. We'll just mention some right. of these other shows. I'm going to tell you dates and locations, and y'all are going to figure it out and get on, get in your car and just go. Griffin William Sherry, formerly of Ghost of Paul Revere, Stone Mountain Arts Center uh, this Friday night. Yay. Martin Sexton at the Chocolate Church Arts Center April 6th. Heather Pearson and the Pot Boilers at Cadenza in Freeport. That is coming up as well, even though I didn't tell you the date. Liz Frame and the Kickers at the Dance Hall in Kittery on April 12th. Sometimes I get so excited I forget to write key pieces of it, but my editor knows this. <laughs> and uh, Lyle Lovett and Lisa Loeb. Here's the thing. This is like one of the biggest shows in conversation and, and song at the recently, and I know you folks have reported on this, the right. recently restored Johnson Hall in Garter on May 7th. And incredibly, there are still tickets left. 
So that, and they're not cheap, but yeah. what that only has 417 seats or something. It's an intimate show, but yeah. they're not inexpensive. All right, um, you gotta leave it so there. So there you go, go Angel, see some music. Thank you so much as always. Always a pleasure. The full list of shows on our website or app, the 207 section. Stick around, we're gonna return with more right after this.